Hi, this is Ted. Today I'm going to be talking to you about memorizing the entire New Testament. Not that I really expect anybody to memorize the entire New Testament, but I do want to give to you one thing that I learned many years ago about how to memorize all major portions of Scripture, and I think it's important. Why is it important? We're dealing a lot today with false prophets. We're dealing with people who claim certain things and they're very popular. How do we fight them? I would say the number one way is get to know the Bible. And I mean really get to know it in a really deep and great understanding. Now there are different ways. Memorizing is not the only way. When I was in my 20s, I began diagramming sentences. You can create outlines. And one of the best ways of learning scripture is memorization. And memorization may seem so overwhelming to so many of you, but as this video will show, it's not all that overwhelming. And because I'm going on vacation, I'm gonna give this to you from seven, eight years ago. As long as you have a little endurance, I believe you or just about anybody can memorize the entire New Testament. To begin with, you're going to need some realistic goals because this can take up to 30, 40 years. Ideally, 20 years. Because if you memorize one verse a day, you can memorize the entire New Testament in just over 21 years. So build a realistic goal. And in building that realistic goal, build realistic plans. Now here's going to be your plan. Start memorizing one verse a day no matter how many years your goal is. When one verse a day becomes too much in the years to come, then you can start going down to five verses a week, and then four verses a week, and then three verses a week. It really doesn't matter because you're still running toward that goal of memorizing the entire New Testament. When choosing a version to memorize, I would suggest you stay with a very literal translation. Some of the better ones are King James Version, New American Standard, Revised Standard, New Revised Standard. You might go for something like New International Version if you feel more comfortable with that. I strongly suggest stay away from the Living Bible, Paraphrased, or Good News, anything that's extremely easy to read simply because these are designed to be easy reading, not to be close to the original text. If you want a Bible that's going to last you more than a few years before it starts falling apart and doesn't cost too much, I would suggest you get a Cambridge Leather Bible. When you begin memorizing, choose a smaller book first. Stay away from Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Revelation, Romans, anything that's big like that. Stay away from them until later on because you will get discouraged and you will want to quit too soon. On the other hand, if you begin memorizing with Jude, 1 John, or James, when you're done memorizing that entire book, you're going to look back and you're going to be feeling good about what you just did. You're going to be encouraged to move on to the next book. When you have your Bible, and when you have the book you've chosen, you're ready to start memorizing. Once you've chosen your book, you're going to memorize the first verse in that book. No more, no less, just one verse. Memorize it. You can write it down on a card. You can write it down in your computer. You can write it down in your iPhone, whatever you want to do, and then carry it around with you. Learn it that day.
on the second day, you're going to memorize the second verse. But you're going to test yourself on the first verse. On the third day, you're going to memorize the third verse. But you're going to test yourself on the first two verses. And by day 91, you will have 90 verses that you're testing yourself on. And you will memorize the next verse. But on day 92, you're going to be dropping verse 1. And day 93, you're going to drop the first two verses. In other words, you will only be covering 90 days of testing and one new verse of memorizing each day. Eventually, you're going to be testing yourself only on the past 30 verses. But because you're already beginning to forget some of those past books, you're going to be going back to those books. And you're going to be testing yourself on them. Every day, you really are going to be testing yourself on 90 verses and memorizing one new verse. But 60 of those verses are going to be in other books that you've memorized in the past. For going over the books that you've memorized in the past, you can divide up your test in different ways. You can have 20 verses in three different books, or you could have 30 verses in two different books. The point is, you gotta be testing yourself on 90 verses a day and memorizing one new verse each day. For example, I memorized John chapter 1, verse 31 today. I will test myself on John 1, 1 through 30. I will also test myself on Hebrews 6, 1 through 20, Matthew 5, 5 through 24, and Jude 6 through 25. Each of these verses are 20 verses long. In that testing, every day I drop one verse and move on to one new verse. There are different ways you can test yourself, but I prefer the pencil and eraser method. For the pencil and eraser method, what I do is every day I go through my 90 verses, and while I'm going through my 90 verses, I cover up the verse with a piece of paper, cardboard, or something. I test myself on it. If I get something wrong, I take my pencil and very lightly underline the word or words that I got wrong. If I get it right on the next day, I erase that underline. If I get it wrong the next day, I underline a second time. Sometimes I have had six, seven, or eight underlines under the same word or words, but eventually that gets you thinking you got to do some extra memorizing that word or words. Believe it or not, that's it. Now, how old are you? Figure in 20 years, in 30 years, you could have the entire New Testament memorized. Isn't that awesome? So, let's go over a few pointers. Pick your favorite books first. Pick shorter books first. And if you feel overwhelmed during this process, slow down. There's no hurry. Somebody running a marathon who is very good at it knows that you can't sprint out of the gate because if you sprint out of the gate, you're going to lose all your energy too quickly. 20, 30, or 40 years may seem like a long time, but really, it isn't all that long. Even in five, ten years, you will look back and see that you have memorized books and books of the Bible. 
and you're gonna feel great about yourself.